Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Uh, I had a member ask a question about how she can draw two lines, two different colored lines, that lay side by side um, on the Scan and Cut, but to have the machine tell her when the next color starts. Well, we all know the machine does not tell us when the next color starts. We actually have to tell the machine that ourselves. So, Sen uh, separating the colors here does not matter. The machine just sees one file, that's it, and it's going to go to town drawing two lines. Doesn't matter if you have them pink, blue, black, green, yellow, it doesn't matter. The machine is just going to see two lines set to draw, okay, because you set them to draw, and it's going to go to town. So when you get it to the machine, and I'm going to show you in that video, I'm going to show you how to cycle through here if you choose to save this as one file. You can go through here and save it as two files. That's no problem. There are a couple different ways to get this to your machine safely. If you're like me and you're lazy, send it all over at once and deal with it when it gets to the machine. Okay? That To me, that is just easier. But if you want to save it separately, that's fine. I'm going to show you how to do that. So right now, we're going to go to File. You can do a Save As. Okay, this is going to come up as a Workspace Project File. And let's go. I save all of my stuff into my documents. And, of course, I went through and completely cleaned this out. So let's go into, I think it's the Scan and Cut class. Yep. So we'll just do Layer. I'm going to save it into there, okay? So now what I can do, though, is I can delete one of these. Oh, good. Now I can save this out, or uh, export this, I'm sorry. Export this FCM to my stick because I have the old one saved. And this is layer 1 or layer pink, okay? So now that's to my stick. I can delete this. File, open recent layer. Do you want to save the changes? Don't save. Okay. So now because I got rid of or save the pink, I can come over here to my layer tab, click on the pink, delete that. Now my blue one. File, export, layer blue. Okay, so now I have the two separate layers over on my machine that I can now draw separately. This also works for any layer file that you have. Okay, so let me take that back there. So my file, open recent, my layer. Okay, don't save. I don't want to, I don't want to save over this. So let's say this one. Okay, maybe I have a seven layer uh, t-shirt file, okay, and I don't want to deal with it over at the machine, okay, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start adding all these layers to it, offset, let's increase this a little bit, okay, so all these layers in my t-shirt, after I have them all trimmed out, and there's a video on that if you need help with that, search trim in my name. How the heck am I going to, I can't separate this. These six by six grids right here will only take four if they are the size of a six by six grid. How in the dickens can I do that? Well, here's how. File, save as, we can do heart, htv enter okay now okay so i'm going to back that up i can hopefully this will allow me to shift hold and highlight nope this is not like in brilliance okay i can just start removing right here if I don't feel comfortable going in there and trying to fish, ship, fish shapes out, I can use my layer tab because I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I don't want to move it, okay?
okay? Because I want everything to be in the same place, okay? However, if this is HTV, you can move it, okay? Because you're going to have to hand place it anyhow. But if it is something that you... The sheriff and the deputy are uh, keeping their eyes on... This is the one I refer to as the inmate. He's the one making all the noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get busy over here. All right, let me set this down, pop this up. Oh, goodness. And let's bring it in here. Sorry, guys. Okay, this is on the DX. We're going to run through the DX here. Okay, so we're going to come in to retrieve data. Uh, this is the file that you've seen me uh, download out. Retrieve data. Let's go to our stick. I use the stick because it's just... Um, okay, so here's one test draw. Let's do the... Here's the layer, the blue, just the single one I sent over. Okay. And then the layer pink, just the single one I sent over. Okay. But back up here was a test draw that I had saved. So this has the two lines, okay? Well, all right, so there's that one, okay? Let's come back out here. Let me come back and grab it again. I wanted to show you I had two lines. Okay, so if I go to cut this, okay, and I just come in here, edit, and I delete whichever one that's on, let's see, okay. Well, that deleted the little one. Okay, so I'm going to come through and I'm going to draw that. So that's drawn. In order to pull up the little one again, I'm going to have to come back out here. Because the key thing is don't move it. If you move it, yes, you can save it by doing the background scan. To capture it and replace it. But these lines are so close, you really have to be careful. Okay, because any slight bit off of that, you're going to be able to tell it, okay? So remember, don't hit the delete here. That's going to delete this full thing from your stick. This OK button takes you into the safe deletion area, okay? So let's come in here. Let's click on that. Uh-oh. That's capturing that small one. How can I get to the big one to delete it, okay? Well, let's see, you can come in here and you can try to blow it up and all that other good stuff, okay? But this, these arrows, okay, that's how you're going to be able to capture it. So always come and grab these arrows. Doesn't matter if you've got two pieces or 2,000 pieces on your map. Well, actually it does because these machines have line limits, so two pieces are up to your line limits of the machine, okay? You can toggle through here using these arrows, okay? And to get to there, come into your first OK, then it'll land you here. Click Edit. That'll bring these up. You'll cycle through there, okay? And delete whatever one you don't need. All right, now I'm going to move over to the 650s or the original Scan and Cut 2s and show you how it's done on them. Okay, so here we are at the 650, which is a Scan and Cut 2, but this is the same for the originals. Everything works the same. I saved it on my USB stick, okay? Test draw. So here's our first okay. If you click delete here, you're taking it off your stick, okay? So don't do that. In here, right up here is our into Funland editing area. Right here is our two arrows, okay? So there's the smaller one, there's the larger heart, okay? So I'm going to now delete the smaller heart. That leaves me the larger one. So I'm gonna come out, okay, okay, I'm gonna hit draw. Allow that to draw. Hit my arrow, come back in. Whatever I just deleted, I don't remember because I'm not actually doing this. Thought I deleted the larger one. Okay, I deleted the smaller one. So now I'm going to delete the larger one. Now I have my smaller one to do, okay? Just remember what one you delete. Don't be like me, okay? Um, I guess if I was doing this, I would definitely remember. But that is how you go about doing it, okay? But let's say you have an accident pattern. Save data. You come in here. You do your little delete okay 
and you accidentally do this, you're okay, you're okay, and you do your draw. Oh my gosh, you draw it out and it's like, oh, I moved it, now what do I do? Well, if that's the larger one, you'll be okay. If it's the smaller one, you will run into issues because the larger one will not be able to draw in behind it, okay? So if that is the larger one, you'll be okay. The larger one, you'll be able to do the background scan. What you'll want to do is pull that large one up. So come back in here. You can click your add, okay, your save data, your add. Uh, large one, where's the large, large blue, okay. So you can bring your large blue in and position that after you do your background scan. So you can scan in your background. Hit your start. That'll scan in your drawing that you have on there. Okay. We'll pretend that this is the drawing that's on there. That'll then allow me to position this over that. Okay. And if I have to, I can come in here and blow that thing way up and allow me to reposition this. Okay. But again, with this, you have to be very careful because this is a set, a set line. Okay, so it might not be perfect. That looks close enough. Okay, so cycle through, delete that small one, and there we go. That's how you'll do it utilizing the background scan. Alright guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, okay, and remember, it doesn't have to just be for drawing. This can be for any file, for any cut file, for any type of thing that you are doing on your scan and cut, okay? Um, but if you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. The link is in the description of this video and it is also on that little blue Facebook button that's on the banner of my channel. Alright guys, thanks a lot and have a great day.